Okay, so for this exercise, we're going to be showing how uh, to create the burner, which we can put on the, um, the event that we made. Um, so to do this, you just go to surfaces, just click on any of them, and this menu uh, will pop up. And so um, we don't see a burner on here. We see a couple of other options, I think. We made all the walls inert, um, and that means certain things, but um, we need to make a new a new surface, and I, I'm just going to call this 2 megawatt fire. Um, so for this uh, example, I'm just going to show you how to put in a T squared fire, a 2 megawatt T squared fire, um, just as a first order approximation of, of something. It's, it's, it's not a bad idea, um, and I'll show you another technique uh, a little bit later. Um, and instead of basic, I'm going to choose burner. Um, that means cer a certain thing to uh, Pyrosim and FDS, and, um, and it, it gives it a nice red color, which is which is pretty cool. Um, you can also go in here and you can choose fire if you really want to. You can you can really you can do a lot with um, making the model uh, look the way you want it to look. Um, and there's some people that uh, some companies and some people that will spend a lot of time. Uh, making the walls the right color, or making the um, right textures, and, 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 and a lot of different things. There's a lot of different things you can do within the model and then um, with external software. Um, but for me, I'm just going to keep it color red, um, and I think that's good enough for, for this class. Um, but like I said, I'm going to use a 2 megawatt fire. I'm not basing this on anything. When you put your fire in, you should base it on either um, a, a, a test material or um, uh, a heat release rate curve that you've, that you've uncovered in, in a research paper or maybe in the SFB handbook. Um, you just need to have a referenced um, source for the fire that you're going to use to make sure that um, you have a basis for what you're assuming. Um, and so, for here, uh, to, the way to choose a T-squared fire is to do, um, choose T-squared here, and then you can choose the ramp up time here. I'm going to choose 60 seconds, and like I said, I don't have a basis for this, this is just an example of how to put this into the model. Um, and then the other thing here is we need to pick the heat release rate per unit area. Um, so to do that, we need to figure out what the area of the vent is over here, where we made our we made our fire area, and then we can um, make it so that the total heat release rate is 2 megawatts. Um, but to do that, I need to know what the area of this is. And so I'm just going to hit OK and slide this over and double click on this. So what I do is when I go to the vent, I know what the geometry is by just looking at the numbers. Um, but to find the area, what I usually do is I'll put it into a nice spreadsheet. Um, so uh, you can just pretty easily just copy and paste these, um, which is which is nice, and um, find your uh, your area that way. Uh, I think we can probably need to put parentheses around this one and go like that. All right, so we got a good number there, and do the same thing in the other direction. Um, And so I already had this kind of programmed in so that the area was calculated, you know, by multiplying those two. And then I have the heat release rate in kilowatts, the area in meters squared, um, as we as we see here. Um, and then to find the heat release per unit area, we can just divide this number by this number to find the kilowatts per meter squared. So pretty straightforward. You just need to make sure you remember that or else you will get a... Uh, output that you were not expecting. So um, then we can just copy this value over here and put it here. And so then when you run the model and when you check it, it should have a total heat release rate of approximately 2 megawatts, give or take. Um, the FDS will account for fluctuations and um, um, flame pulses and Different amounts of oxygen as air flows through it, it, it it'll it'll fluctuate a little bit, but it should be around two megawatts. Um, so, 
that's how you input the design fire for a two megawatt T squared uh, T squared fire um, uh, on a burner. Um, the rest of these things are um, up to you. You can you can research them if you want, but um, we're not going to use them directly in in, in this class. Um, so now that we have our our surface, we just have to go back to our vent, and we need to uh, just make it the two megawatt. Uh, fire. And so you can see that um, it's red and it's, uh, it's on that, that surface so that should give us what we want and then 